Welcome, everybody, to New Orleans and the iconic Caesars Superdome, the long-term home of the All-State Sugar Bowl, which this year, of course, is part of the college football playoff. We are through the opening round of this year's playoff, and now the pressure is mounting in the quarterfinals. A matchup between one side that's had time to rest and recover and another team that's battle-tested already off one playoff victory. As we'll see the number nine seed in this playoff, the LSU Tigers, taking on the top-seeded team in the playoff, the Alabama Crimson Tide. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler here in the booth with Kirk Street, And here we go, a college football playoff quarterfinal game. Only one team here can keep their championship dreams alive. The kickoff team is out there. Great energy as this playoff game is about to get underway. Turner looking to make a play here. Oh, and he fumbled it. The kick team grabs the ball. The kickoff unit pounced on top of that football. You talk about a great way to open up the football game. Here you are, kicking off, and now your offense is trotting out in the field after this turnover. Quarterback making adjustments now to what the defense is showing. Off the play fake, looking to throw. He's running out of time here. That's incomplete, even on a first down pass attempt. He felt heavy pressure. Well, everybody talks about sacks, and they're very important. But sometimes just the rush, the pressure affecting the quarterback is just as effective. He didn't have a clean throwing lane, and they forced the incompletion. And he's back to throw again after that incompletion on first down. Intercepted, picked off by the defense. He's got some room and some blockers here. Past the 50. Now the 40. Finally able to take him down, but that's a great return after the pick. Chris, not only the awareness to come up with the interception, but the speed and athletic ability on the return. I thought he was going to take it all the way back, but the offense just did enough to keep him out of the end zone. The offensive coordinator begins this drive with excellent field position. And here's the handoff. And he stopped after gaining four yards, so second and six. LSU has moved into the red zone. They'll run it out of the shotgun. Able to fight for a decent game here in that running play. No huddle now for the offense. That's the wide receiver coming in motion now. Can they pick up the first on the ground? Looks like LSU has the first down. Well, that's a good, hard, tough running there to get that first down to keep this drive alive early in this game. The offense really asserting themselves. They're not thinking about a field goal. They're trying to put this ball in the end zone. First down play call. How aggressive will it be? Out of the shotgun, he hands it off. And he's tackled down at the four-yard line. Defense getting pushed back. Just love watching his back run. Gets behind that offensive line, lowers his pads, and it's a nice, solid game. Here comes a crucial second down play. Every yard tough to find down here in the red zone. Press coverage now from these DBs. Caught in the backfield. It's green. They make the tackle there, but a penalty marker is on the field. Let's see what that's about. Costly holding penalty there. Backs him up 10 yards. Important second down play coming up.
quarterback will throw it off the one pass option. The tackle is made just a short gain after the completion. Boy, that's pretty good coverage here by this defense. Not much of a window to throw this ball into, but the quarterback's accuracy and the size of the tight end picks up a nice game. And they convert here on third down in the red zone. This is a four-point type of play, touchdown or field goal. And he'll drop back here on third down. Looking to the end zone. Looking for a touchdown, but it's incomplete. Hey, it's an incompletion, but it's a nice job by the quarterback. I know it didn't pan out, but the most important thing is he didn't turn the football over and he didn't take a sack. It'll give your kicker a chance to put some points on the board if they opt for the field goal here on fourth down. Met kick right down the middle. Can't hit it any better than that. So we have our first points on the board. That makes it 3-0. So after the field goal, the kicker out there again to boot it away. So it'll be a touchback. Ball spotted at the 25. Okay. Alabama's offense coming back onto the field. We'll see if this quarterback can shake off the interception he threw in the last possession. Ball handed off. Only a small game. Now looking at second and nine. See, that's how you limit what an offense wants to do. This time, the defense just won the battle up front of the line of scrimmage. Not giving up any big plays. Everybody's gap sound. And it's really solid defense on that play. And they hit him just as he releases the ball. It's incomplete. You never underestimate a defensive lineman's ability to play the passing lines. Smart defensive linemen keep an eye on the quarterback. And if they see the ball coming out, they're able to get those big, long arms up and try to get a piece of it. Looks like the QB is changing the play at the line. Dropping back. We're going to throw for the first down. The pass rush closing in. They've got him. Defense comes up with a sack. Nothing is more gratifying for a defense to be able to sit back and play zone and still get pressure on the quarterback with your defensive front. He's got an opening. Watch out. He's got great speed. And the coverage team pins him in and brings him down. Okay, so here comes the LSU offense back on the field. Kept out of the end zone last time. Had to settle for a short field goal. Can they improve upon that here? He'll hand it off. Breaking free at the 35. And a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. Big wins like this are just demoralizing for a defense. It's one thing to give up big plays over your head against the pass game. Well, when teams can run the ball and pick up yards like this, really affects the team's mental psyche and their confidence. And you'll start to see some missed tackles following a play like this. And the wideout goes in motion. Obvious ball start there, moving too early. Pretty easy call for the head coach. He will accept that penalty, of course. First down here for this offense. One man at the backfield, and he'll get the football. And a decent gain there before the defense brings him down. When you can get good chunks of yardage like this on early downs, it just keeps you on schedule, leading to more manageable third down situations. Never underestimate the value of consistently getting four more yards a pop like that. Here's the second down play. To throw. It's
Collins. Collins gets the ball up as he's hit, but it's incomplete. Boy, the defense rolls the dice here on this screen pass. If they don't hit this quarterback, this is a big play, but give them credit. They were able to get to him before they were able to complete that pass. Now it's third and short in the 24, one of those line of scrimmage battles that could help decide this game. Dropping back, they're going to throw for the first down. The receiver makes the grab. He stopped, but he gets a first down. They bring him down, but the veteran quarterback shows off that trademark arm strength. This LSU offense is moving quickly down the field. Shotgun formation, here's an inside give. They pick up four, so second down and six coming up. Because I just love to see this offensive line in this running game able to establish themselves. This back is already over 50 yards. We're in the first half, so really good job of establishing the run game. Opens up the play action, opens up one-on-one -on -one opportunities. Just keep winning the battle up front. He'll hand it off. He'll make it into the end zone. Touchdown, Bayou Bengals. Sam Bam Cunningham, Bo Jackson. That's a play that legendary running backs have made. And let's not forget Herschel Walker. Yeah, it's right. You're thinking of old school running backs. It's very rare to see backs go up and over at the goal line. It's refreshing. Nice to see. Kickoff team is on the field. Let's see if they give the returner a chance to bring this one back. something together on this drive with a little more urgency. Breaking free at the 35. Oh, and nothing but green grass ahead. And a huge game before he's forced out of bounds. Big yards to set up a fresh set of downs. First and 10 play coming up. Offense moving receivers around now before the snap. Oh, it's a reverse. They tackle him behind the line, a loss of four. The defense there showed incredible discipline on the backside contained. And that reverse wasn't going anywhere. Just textbook. Second down play coming up. They flip it to him on the jet sweep. Oh, and he's in the clear now. It's a foot race. Tackle is finally made, but an explosive gain. They'll move it down to the 23-yard line. The defense has got to do a much better job here of adjusting to the pre-snap motion. They just kind of stayed in place, and it gave the receiver plenty of room there to make a nice play. Looking to set up a screen pass here. They're finally able to stop him, but the defense is fooled a bit on that screen play. It's a solid gain for a first down. Boy, this is great execution here on their screen play to the running back to pick up big yards in the first down. I think in the process, Chris, they sent a message to the defense. You can rush our quarterback all you want, but when you do, you better be careful because we're going to throw the screen on you. And they'll force him out of bounds after a short run. Offense getting set for a second down here to begin the quarter. It's a quarterback keeper. Defense makes the tackle on the ball carrier. So here we go. Third down in the red zone. The kind of play that decides football games. Well, Chris, this is going to set up a big third down now for this offense. They're down early in the game. All the hype and the pressure on a playoff game. You don't want to dig yourselves too big of a hole. they got to keep this drive alive. So they need to convert right here. The offense will go for here on fourth down and three. Timeout is called by the defense. That's their first of the half. 
Alabama needing this fourth down conversion. Takes the snap and takes off on the run. And he gets to the end zone. Touchdown, Crimson Tide. Look at the blazing speed for that quarterback. If you're a defense trying to stop this guy, good luck. Well, Chris, you remember this week we talked with the offensive coordinator. He talked a lot about how they have run plays on the call sheet specifically for this guy to be able to get loose and make plays. We saw that exactly on this score right here. Returner decides to fair catch this. And here comes that LSU offense back onto the field. Great possession last time. They punch it into the end zone. Can the defense come up with a stop this time? Ending off on the draw play. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. How about the defense on this play right here? Because they go with a draw play to try to take an advantage of an aggressive defense. It's pin in their ears to get upfield. But instead, it was almost like the defense was expecting the run. They're not surprised at all. They make a great play. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Well, the back just had nowhere to go. How about the defensive line? They eat up all the blocks up front, freeing those linebackers up to be able to make the play. Just a bad play all around for this offense. And he lofts it toward the left sideline. And he's got it down there inside the 35. Touchdown, LSU. This quarterback on fire today. That's what makes this guy so dangerous as a wide receiver. He can catch the ball underneath, shake and bake and go by you. Or use his speed to get around you and make a big play like this for a touchdown. And the extra point gives him a double-digit lead. Now they get set to kick it away. That one bounces through the end zone, so they'll start at the 25. Here comes the Crimson Tide offense onto the field. Can they keep it going? They mix the run and pass beautifully in the last touchdown drive. Out of the shotgun, he'll hand it off. And they make the stop to get the ball carrier down. That's a great play all around by this defense. Your first level defenders hold their own at the point of attack, allowing the second and third level players to roam free and make the tackle close to the line of scrimmage. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. Here's the snap. Looking to throw here. Let's it go quickly. Looks downfield and connects with a wide open wide receiver. And an explosive gain moves the ball across midfield. They'll spot it at the 42. Alabama comes up to the line quickly. You know, Chris, if we would have told Bear Bryant that Alabama would have a wide receiver that won a Heisman in recent years, I don't think he would have believed us. But that's where we are. They've been some great ones in the past. And we're seeing some great-looking receivers on this unit right now. Alabama getting set for the first and 10 coming up. You know, plays like this are what Alabama offense is all about. They run the football, and then they're efficient within their passing game. Think about it. They won a couple national championships with Greg McElroy and A.J. McCarron by just being efficient and playing smart at the position and being a great complement to that running game in the defense. Takes the handoff. It's Young. Try to run it up the middle, but get nothing. Just a great job by this defense defending this RPO. They sat back and they overcommitted to stop the run game, and it works out. Grab behind the line. It's Lewis. Brought down, but the completion moves the ball down to the four. One thing I love about this back is how he gets involved in the passing game. Nice catch here. This is crucial. Defense needing a stop on third down, trying to force a field goal. Running play called on third and short. And he runs it into the end zone. Touchdown, Alabama. Now the all-important extra point. Well, that's an example right there of what vision and patience and ability can do for a running back. He was on a mission to get into the end zone, and really, he made it look easy. There's a kickoff team. Let's see if they give the returner an opportunity to bring this back. 
And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone. The offense will start at the 25. And that Bayou Bengals offense is back out on the field. Each offense has been clicking, scoring touchdowns in their last possessions. He's going to hand this off. The gain is two yards, so it's second and eight. Chris, you know, the spread error over the years has always grown offensively. But what I've been always impressed with when defenses that really build their defense to play in space still have an ability to be sound at the line of scrimmage and defend a running game. It's exactly what we saw right there. Second down after that run on the previous play. Back to throw. It's Collins. Fired into a tight window and picked off. Can he take it all the way? Refusing to be stopped in this play. Gonna take it all the way in. Pick six. Touchdown. Yo, DB, nigga. Yo, DB. Colt. Yo, DB. So they'll try to add to the lead now. <laughs> Yeah, nigga. Yo, boy. Earl Colt, nigga. Yo, boy. The extra point makes it a four-point game. Come on, the field. Now they send this one away. Out the portal, nigga. Yeah. 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 <laughs> You got one. You don't get no more. This is a manageable third down. You got him. You don't get no more. Press coverage now from the secondary. Come on, Dottie. You know. We here, Nye? Come on, Nye. Now, fourth down. It's a good job by the team that's here on this third down. And now it's going to bring up a big fourth down play and a decision here for the head coach. Fourth down, they'll punt it away here. Oh, what are you doing, Peter? Peter, Peter. This oh, one's got a crease here. here. Look out. Stop the hitting screen to Peter. Tackle right there. That's what we'll start the drive. Right, we're Peter. So here comes the Alabama offense back out of the field. They got off to a slow start, but they have been clicking lately. Can they build on this lead now in the second quarter? Man is going to be taken down there, but there is a flag on the field. Uh, Will that holding penalty be a drive killer? First down play call coming up. How impressive will it be? Takes the handoff. It's Young. He's sworn by the defense. Getting set. Here's second down. And now the running back's got it again. He made the stop, but not before a solid game that time. How about that offensive line? That's just getting a hat on a hat, opening just enough room for the back to be able to get through there for a big game. Off the play fake on first down. Close to the tight end. And he's got his man open downfield. They bring him down at the seven. The offense set up now with a first and goal. The tied offense line up here on first and goal. And 
And the quarterback drops back looking for an open man. He's going to be brought down by that ferocious pass rush. Nice sack. Well, that's a big sack by this defense here on first down. Now the offense still has opportunities to rectify this situation. But what? It's not the best way to start a first and goal situation. The pocket breaking down. The pass rush has got him again back to back sacks. The offense will quickly spend a timeout here after the play. Well, this defensive unit has certainly picked a great time to make a stand with back-to-back -back sacks, starting with that first and goal play. Curious to see if the defense revs up its engine and tries to apply the catch made in the end zone. Touchdown, Bama! See if they can convert the point after. And the kick is up and good. They tack on a point to their lead. So after the touchdown, here's the kickoff. And we'll see if the opposing offense has time to answer before halftime. And here's the fair catch by the return man. And here comes that LSU offense back onto the field. Last time was a quick three and out. Can they get a drive going this time? And he lofts it toward the sideline. That ball is incomplete. An aggressive deep shot on first down. You know, the game often comes down to a play or two, and the offense just missed a huge opportunity for a big play. They're going to have to make some adjustments there, and maybe go back to that play and see if they can come up with a big opportunity. Offense operating from the pistol. Back to pass. It's Collins. Defense is coming after him. Finds that big tight end for a short pass. The timeout is called important stage late here in the second quarter. Boy, another positive game for this offense, and this quarterback continues to show how dangerous he is when he has time to throw. The defensive coordinator's got to change up his looks, maybe bring in the blitz, anything they can do to get this quarterback out of this rhythm. Got to pick up the third and short through the air. And the pass is intercepted. A takeaway for the defense. It's a short return, but a takeaway for this defense. Looks like the final play of the half coming up. I don't know why you're going at that boy like he ain't the dog out there. It's young. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. Minutes to wrap up the first half here. Let's take it down to Kevin Connors with our halftime update. They'll kick it away now to get this third quarter underway. And a misfire there on the kickoff as it goes out of bounds. And the head coach will decide to accept the penalty and take the yardage. The defense setting up to go against this heavy formation. Play action here on first down. Quick throw complete to the tight end. And here the tight end shows off his hands for a nice game. Love to see the big man get his touches. Short completion there. Second down coming up. The quarterback appears to be changing the play. Off play action. He's looking to throw. He's escaping the pocket now. Oh. They try a downfield shot that's a good effort there, but now it's third down. Well, they come out firing here to start this second half. They didn't make this completion, but I think it sends a clear message to this defense that the adjustments that this offense is going to make is that they're going to be aggressive and they're going to look for their one-on-one -on -one opportunities. Looking to make a play deep down. No! And this is dropped. Oh, Would have been a huge game, but he could not collect it. 
The offense doesn't come up with the completion here, Chris, but I think it gives you an indication of what they think they can do here in the second half of this playoff game. Oh, yeah, he rubs the kicker. He the kicker. He rubs the kicker. We got him, y'all boys. Let's see what this is about. Nice job here of controlling the line of scrimmage by this offensive line. The back does what he needs to do to get positive yards on first down. To throw, it's Collins. You see me? Pressure is coming. You see me? Able to throw it away. He felt the heavy pressure, took a hit, but got rid of the football. After the incompletion, they'll face a third and six. Dropping back, we're going to throw for the first down. On the run here, lets it go. Receiver makes the catch. The tackle is made, but the offense is now set up for the first and goal from the eight. Really good job here of converting by this offense. And let's face it, at this point in the game, because they have such a big hole to climb out of, they've got to be able to convert. Man, that's so trash. <laughs> Oh, you got that so late, bro. That's a crucial response by this offense, but still, what do you work to do here in the third quarter? Well, I love that they're still fighting and competing. You can tell they've made some adjustments at half and try to get them back into this game. And that score is a great start. He'll push it. Okay. And the two-point try is successful, making this just a three-point lead. Do that. Do that. Except to kick the ball off now. Had to make it a three-point game, huh? Was he on the end line? Apparently not. He's bringing it out. And they've got the returner corral. Hey. Alabama's offense coming back uh -huh. onto the field. They're trying to build on their lead. They were forced to punt on the last possession. Receiver in motion now. A pop pass on the jet sweep. He gains nine, so it's second and one. You know, a lot of times these types of plays either go for nothing or they can go for a huge chunk of yards. Here they do a nice job of getting it to the outside, turning it upfield, and ended up getting a nice gain out of it. Pitches to the back. Tackle made, but it's enough for the first down. A well-executed option play. <laughs> it was a nice job up front by the offensive line, but give the running back an assist for setting those blocks up before he's able to get downfield for the first down. Motion now from the tight end. 
And then first down right back to the running game. And the run moves the ball up to the 33. Great job by the offensive line here, opening up some holes and giving the running back room to run on first down. Plays like this can open up the playbook for the play caller, allow him to make that defense think, are they going to run? Maybe play action, maybe throw the ball downfield. From the shotgun, it's a handoff. And that is a first down gain, moves the ball to the 40. Well, much like what we saw in the first half, Chris, in his playoff game, no adjustments. Go right back to giving his running back the football. He's had a monster day and continues to get positive yards. This Alabama offense is moving quickly down the field. Takes the handoff on the counter. Get the hole, boy. That's fine. He'll be taken down, but he crosses midfield of the 48. Boy, another nice game by this back. He has had a beautiful day today running the football, just kind of in that zone, and a big reason why they have a nice lead today. Alabama getting set for the first and 10 now. They'll switch it up here, looking to throw. Bringing pressure. Nice catch made along the sideline. He does just get the foot down. Well, it's a great catch near the sideline and does a good job of getting that foot down to secure the catch. That completion makes it second and short. Here we go. And a short pitch and catch to the tight end. Looks like Alabama will have the first down. Well, this is called settling down in its own defense, just kind of finding that soft spot. So not only does this tight end show that he's got great athletic ability and great size, here he shows that he understands coverage by sitting down in that hole, giving the quarterback a nice target, able to pick up that first down. They bring him down, but that's a solid gain on the play. Hey, whether it's been on the inside or bouncing things to the outside, this guy has shown you everything that he has to offer and a big part of the reason why they're enjoying this nice lead. They're going to run the option. Pitch play to the back. They've got him behind the line. The option doesn't work at all. But his defense just hasn't had many answers for this running back. The guy's already over 100 yards on the afternoon. But give him credit there. He made a nice play in the backfield. Quarterback checks the defensive look, makes some adjustments. Looking to pass here on second down. And he'll loft it to the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Crimson Tide. Now the important point after attempt. The extra point makes it a 10-point game. Team on the field now as they get set to send this one away. Not an ideal kickoff as it heads out of bounds. Pretty easy call for the head coach. He will accept that penalty, of course. Fresh set of downs for the offense. First down. They'll run it here. Looks up two, so it's second and eight. The defense coordinator this week all week telling us about gap integrity, not giving this running back any creases at all. Really sound defense on that play. Looking to throw, it's Collins. We we here. Who was that? Hope was he? Oh, the ball, the ball, the ball, the ball, the ball, He's going to bring it out of the end zone from a couple yards deep. Solid coverage there. They get him at the 15. And that's where the offense will take over. Well, the game and the the field. It'll be interesting to see if this quarterback can bounce back. He threw a pick six in the last possession. Catch made on the left side. 
They stop him after a six-yard game, so second and four. Well, here the defense decided to sit back and play zone, and that front didn't do a good job of pressuring the quarterback. He had the time to make the throw, and he put it on target. Play action fake, looking to throw. He bought some time, now lets him go. It's a short completion of his big tight end. Tackle right at the 30, good enough to move the sticks. Good job of reading the blitz here by the quarterback. And it doesn't matter where it's coming from. The tight end knows that they've become a big part of the passing game because they should be an outlet. Anytime you see that kind of pressure, those extra bodies are starting to come after the quarterback. Quarterback's going to turn and get the ball out of his hands quickly, this time to the tight end for the first down. So here we go, first play of the quarter. The offense has a first down. To throw, it's Collins. Fires it to the wide out. Two or two minutes in coverage the right there. The fourth so, for this QB uh, today. Look out, he's got some space. He steps out of bounds after the great pick. Solid return to set up his offense. Well, this defense has been great. Man, he won't not come back after that. He ain't coming back. See you know, right before he went to the league. I don't blame them. Really. They, get a I don't blame them. Here they number eight, bro. Oh, I want to block. So, I beg it for you. I tell you, to be able to pick up a nice game like that, those offensive linemen have to sustain their blocks. Gave them a chance in a really nice game. Short throw, running back makes the catch behind the line of scrimmage. Touchdown, tied. And the beatdown continues. Kirk, this quarterback told us this is my time to shine a playoff game he has gone out and backed that up so far yeah he's done everything that's been asked of him and more just a great job of getting into a rhythm really tough to defend right now the defense you can see him down there he's throwing his headset he's frustrated he's got to come up with some new wrinkles to try to slow this guy down here's the kickoff team now set to move this one away Here's the return from inside the five. Makes it with a 16. That's good coverage there. Okay, so here comes the LSU offense back on the field. This drive is important. Last one ended in an interception. Let's see if they can get it going here. Looking to throw it on first down. It's an out route. The catch made. Even surrounds him. Just a short gain on that completion. Hey, it's positive yards, right? That, that's never a bad thing. But let's face it. These guys got a long way to go in a short amount of time to do it. So let's get the ball downfield and let's get out of bounds to try to preserve that clock. Grab down the middle. It's Watkins. Defense reacts quickly. A very short gain on the play. That completion sets up an important third down play. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. Quarterback escapes the pocket. Quick throw to the left side. And the pass is incomplete. Oh, the quarterback and receiver just not quite on the same page. But the good news is it's fourth down and short. And trailing in this game, you've got to convert here to keep your hopes alive. Completely back on this fourth down play. Looks like LSU has the first down. Here comes the up-tempo offense. Man, that's got to be deflating for this defense. They had this offense right where they wanted, and then they come up with a Saw that. conversion with that pass. Good ball, good ball. Tackle is made very near midfield. Good enough for a first down. Well, it's a big risk to play man-to-man -man coverage by this defense. Mm, this time they get caught. Great timing between the quarterback and his receiver. You can see what can happen when that timing oh, I had is it. right. Big things can happen. <laughs> that broken tackle will earn him first down yardage. Chris, if I'm not mistaken, 
I think that's only the second catch of this entire game. Boy, this defense has done an amazing job of keeping him in check. Let's face it, this guy's as good as anybody in the country. Big-time playmaking ability, but they've taken him out of the game. I think it's a big reason that they have a nice lead. And the second effort there will earn him the first down. LSU now operating in the red zone. Well, this is what coaches love to see. A quarterback with the ability to read the defense properly and then just get it to the open man. Sometimes it sounds simple, but it's tough to execute. This time we have good recognition by the quarterback, and then he gets it down to the tight end. You can see what he can do after the catch. It's caught. Touchdown, Bayou Bengals. You put five wide receivers into a formation that puts so much pressure on the defense. You have enough guys that can cover. The quarterback does such a good job of finding the weakness and exploiting it. I'm trying to run it with the option. Pitch to the back. And he's got it. The two-point conversion puts the lead to 16, a two-score game. Pickoff team is on the field to boot this one away. Kick bounces out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Players. Here comes the Alabama offense onto the field. Yeah. They really built momentum in this game. They've been hard to stop. Can the defense make some adjustments? Come up with a stop here. That's a solid game. Moves the ball to 29. This is where you really rely on your offensive line. Late in the game, got the lead. You got to run the football. They know you're going to run the football. Get behind that big offensive line. Run that running back. Make sure he protects the football. And you got a great chance at a victory. Running out of time in the pocket. Man, I've gotten so conditioned here now that we're in the fourth quarter to see this guy get the football, just get more positive yards. Finally this afternoon, the defense steps up, says enough is enough, and they come up with a nice tackle. Makes a quick grab. Breaking free at the 35. They finally make the tackle, but the big game moves the ball across midfield to the 47. I mean, Chris, look at this guy. I mean, you talk about having a great day throwing the football and leading his team to a nice, comfortable lead late in the game, and it continues. The coach is showing confidence of what he can do. And somebody up there got a little too antsy at the line of scrimmage. And the head coach will decide to accept the penalty and take the yardage. First down here, the offense has time for one more play before the two-minute warning. Hand off to the back. They'll keep the clock moving. And we're able to get him down. And that's the two-minute warning. This offense looking to run out the clock and secure an impressive win here today. Second down play coming up for this offense. Now they're running on the toss. Tackle, but only after picking up a fresh set of downs. Now you're starting to see this defense, I think, wear down now that we're in the fourth quarter. It's been a tough day for them, and the offense is taking advantage of it. A lot of positive plays. Good job at eating as much clock as they can here on this drive in the fourth quarter. The offense has done well to choose some clock here. Now they'll come up on second down. On the ground, it's Young. Oh, yeah, get the to the, the ground, but it's a nice run there. <laughs> Boy, this offense just seems to get more confident as this football game is played out. They've got a nice lead. Say what? Here they are in the fourth quarter, just working that clock, possessing the football, and trying to get out of here with a nice yeah, solid victory. Facing. And they'll go right back to him on first down. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. Better. In the playoffs, it's survive and advance. This is a crucial W. Great performance, but now the stage gets 